casino um, doing a live video again this morning. So this is Sunday morning at the 24th of April, so the day before Anzac Day here. So we have a long weekend this weekend. So I've been uh, spending a little bit of time. We went shopping yesterday, so it takes us about an hour to actually get to shops from where we live, um, which is a, a new thing for us because we used to live right where the shops all were. Uh, so we actually spent the day shopping yesterday and had a great day just lounging about and doing very little. So I thought I better get back into work today. So hello and welcome. I can see a few of you have got the notification that I've gone live. So if this is the first time that you've been, that you've tuned in and watching me, my name is Donna Gray and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. We sell all things to do with paper craft and I'm here to help you with your creativity and teach you tips and tricks along the way of how to create a card from the beginning right through to the end. So uh, I go live quite often, probably um, lately. I've been going live just about nearly every second day. Uh, so because we've got brand new goodies at the moment. So, of course, right at this moment, we have uh, an annual catalogue that's about to retire and we have a brand new annual catalogue that's going to be starting on the 3rd of May. So I have been lucky enough because one of the perks, good morning. Hey, Laura, how are you going? Robin, Glenda, Donna, Inika, hello, Inika, Debbie, hello. Um, welcome, welcome, everybody. So um, I'm going live um, this morning to show you a sneak peek of some of the brand new products. Now, I do apologize for the last time that I went live. I said that I was actually going to choose the winners for commenting um, and saying where, they, they're, where they're watching from in Australia. And I can only choose uh, winners here in Australia because it's Stampin' Up! Rules. I'm not allowed to send product anywhere outside of Australia. So um, when you come in, please say hello and tell me what state you're watching from in Australia because that enters you into the draw. And please feel free if you um, have friends that might be interested in crafting, share the video link with them. So tap if you're watching on YouTube, tap on that, tap on that share button, get the link and send it in Messenger to people so we can see how many we can get on to watch us live. So welcome everybody that has joined me already. Now, if you have any questions, please pop it into the comments. Now, if you are um, if you are wanting to comment and me to be able to see where you're commenting, if you are in my private Australian card making and scrapbooking group, then it will show up as Facebook. I found out why it will show up as Facebook user because you're in a private group. So if that's the case, maybe swap to either my YouTube channel or my business page on Facebook so that we can actually see um, what your name is and who's saying hello. So um, welcome. So what I'm going to do is before I get started this morning, I do, I have got three winners picked um, from my vi recent videos. So please make sure you keep watching and um, I'm going to show you who those three winners are this morning. So the first thing I wanted to do though is I wanted to chat with you a little bit about things that are going on in my Stamping Up business right at this very moment. Um, and and things, special things that I have going on that you may want to be a part of. So, of course, there's brand new in colors. So, uh, we have five brand new in colors that have come in. We've got Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. So, as you can see, this graphic shows the gorgeous colors that we have. So, um, hey, Rebecca, I watched your video yesterday. So, now you're watching me today. So, that's awesome. So um, with the brand new colours, of course, I do what we call an in-colour club. And I'm just trying to find my graphic here for my in-colour club. Okay. So in-colour club is $87.50 plus $9.50 postage. Now, I do have a link in the show more box down below if you wanted to register. These will be starting. I will be ordering everyone's products on the 3rd of May. Um, and what it actually is is that you collect... Uh, one colour per month over a series of five months. So it spreads out the cost of purchasing the whole five of the in colours all at once. But you will get an ink pad, a re-inker, you will get um, some blends, you will get the stamp and write marker, you will get a roll of the ribbon, you'll get a, um, a sampling of the, of the in colour matte 
um, what are they called? In color matte decorative dots. You will also get um, some of the beautiful glimmer paper. You will get four sheets of the cardstock in that color. You will get um, um, eight sheets of the designer series paper. So it's a really, really great thing to be a part of. And each month you will get a color coordination um, flip chart card. So um, each month I'm going to show you, I'm going to print those out and send them out to you. So you collect those each month and by the end of the five months you will have all of the co coordination colours suggestions that Stampin' Up! give. Um, and you can put them on like a little ring binder and they, they are fantastic for when you go to craft and help you with your crafting and with um, incorporating your in colours into the colours that we already have. Okay, um, quickly, the last chance products. We have last chance product sale at the moment. Now, any of the, um, the products that are in this sale that are still available, you can actually pop into a starter kit. So you can actually get even more bang for your money. Now, I am telling you, it is a great time to join my Wild Heart Crafters team. You get to choose $235 worth of product and you only pay $169 and it gets delivered to your door freight free. So um, if your order is going to go over $169 with any of these last chance products, really, really think about being a part of a crafty community because I would love to invite you to be a part of my Wild Heart Crafters crafting community and also to get a discount on your products but also get help and guidance with your creativity with your stamping because I spoil my team rotten not only do um, we have a monthly team meeting we I put all of my stamps club videos they get access to all of those for free uh, the global creative tutorial bundle that I'm a part of with 12 top demos around the world they get that for free so I actually throw so much inspiration to my team to help you get crafting and make sure that you're using your products um, instead of them sitting on a shelf and not being used. So um, that is my job as your team leader. But helping you and guiding you with whatever you want to get out of your crafting, I'm here as your team leader to be able to help and guide you and walk along with the journey with you with um, Stampin' Up. And I'm telling you, since I've joined Stampin' Up, I've met so many people and I've become part of a massive, wonderful um, crafty community. And look, Fran's saying, we are the luckiest team in Australia. Thank you, Fran. I need to highlight your comment because that looks really awesome. Awesome. Now, Fran is a part of my team and she said, luckiest team in Australia. And we are. We are an awesome, fun team um, all over Australia and we have a really, really great time. All right, two-day craft retreat. Time is running out, people. If you're thinking about joining my two-day craft retreat, it's being held at the Club Bow Desert in Bow Desert, Queensland, um, and it is $190 for the two days. It's going to be on the 16th and 17th of July. On the 3rd of May, registrations will close for this two-day event. So if you're wanting to uh, come, if you live in Queensland and Bow Desert is somewhere central to you, there's four motels in Bow Desert, sorry, three motels and a caravan park that has cabins. Um, so uh, it would be a really, really great girls getaway for the weekend and spend two days crafting. And so far, I have been overwhelmed by the response of the amount of people that are coming to my two-day craft retreat, but I still have room for more. So if you're thinking about it, make sure um, you get on. The registration link is in the show more box down below, or if you're on Facebook, it's in the description of this video. Um, it costs $190 for two days, but for that, you get $150 worth of product and you will have everything in your kit, cardstock, stamps, dies, designer series paper, ribbon, embellishments, everything that you're going to need other than the ink pads and your tools to be able to create the eight make and take projects. So it's really, really a super fun day. You can actually get it in a box. So if you wanted to have it delivered in a box, then by all means, it costs an extra $25 for me to post it out to you in a box, but you get a PDF tutorial showing you step by step how to do um, the eight make and take projects. So um, please, if you're thinking about it, as I said, time is running out. There's like less than two weeks, I think, to be able to book. My Sweet Delicious Fun Fold Club for this month is the Tulip Fields Bundle. Um, so you will, for the Sweet Delicious at $60 um, in Australia, or if you're in the US, you can purchase it from Rose for $40. Um, you will get the uh, flowering, 
um, fields. I think it's called Flowering Fields Designer Series Paper. You will get a roll of the window pane, the Evening Evergreen window pane uh, ribbon, and you will also get a pack of the brass butterflies, brush brass butterflies. So it's a great thing. And you get a video tutorial with me showing you three fun fold cards and with Rose showing you three fun fold cards. So um, if you've been thinking about doing something like that, it's a great way if you're a paper lover, if you love the designer series paper, it's a great club to be a part of. You get six fun fold cards each month. Um, and also this month, look, that's upside down. This month, my monthly stamps club is on the Horizon stamp set and I'm about to design those cards today. Uh, so if you're wanting to get in, uh, last chance to actually get in and do the monthly stamps club. It's $50, you will get the on the Horizon stamp set, you will get a card kit to make six cards and you will get a video tutorial showing you step-by-step -step how to make those six cards. Um, if you want to upgrade to the bundle, it's $100 if you wanted to get the bundle and you get the card kit. Um, um, and the video tutorial. Plus, you get to be a part of my Stamps Club group where you get to see all of my other Stamps Club videos as well. So, while ever you're a paying um, member of my monthly Stamps Club, you get access to all of my Stamps Club videos that I have done. Hey, Barry, how are you going? Hi, Della, how are you going? So, now the winners, I want to announce the winners, and I've already seen one of the winners here that's already on here this morning. So, I hope that she's still watching. So I've got three giveaways that I'm giving away and this is for sharing my video, for commenting on my video, let, letting me know where you're watching from. So the first winner, I've got these gorgeous opal rounds and the first winner is Meg McNeil and she is from Acacia Ridge in Brisbane. So Meg, if you're watching this, um, please make sure you email me and you will find my email um, in the show more box down below on YouTube and you will also find it in the description of this video. So um, if you um, if you are watching or if you're watching back later on, please email me your address so that I can post these gorgeous opal rounds out to you. The second winner is Maria Solares from Innisfail in North Queensland. So Maria Solares, if you're watching, um, please congratulations. You have been the second lucky winner of some opal rounds and I would love to post those out to you. So please email me. My email address is bejeweled01 at gmail.com and bejeweled is spelled B-E-J-E-W E double L E D zero one at gmail.com. So Maria Solares, and if you know Maria and um and she's not watching at the moment, please make sure you let her know that she's a lucky winner. And Debbie Gerben, and Debbie, I seen you on here early. So congratulations, Debbie Gerben. You have won the Quiet Meadow stamp set. So I hope Debbie, you are still watching because I did see you come up in the comments. So I was super excited to see um when you're name came up in the comments so there and there's Deborah congratulations ladies so thank you very much and that is for helping me and supporting me with my videos so please make sure you always jump on let me know where you're watching from um, tell me what state you're in because I absolutely love giving away some free goodies all right so let's get to crafting. Now, this is the set that I decided to use this morning, and this is called Framed Occasions. Now, um, it has these gorgeous dies that go with it and this beautiful stamp set. So I thought I would play around. The one thing that I love about this is if you're a scrapbooker and you love doing scrapbook layouts, we have these gorgeous corner pieces that would be fantastic for your scrapbooking. So um, that's actually, I think, one of the key perks and the beautiful frames in these gorgeous dies. So um, I don't really, um, I don't really have anything planned, but we are just going to go ahead and do some crafting and see what we end up with. Um, now I did have, I need to, sorry, bear with me. I need to grab some white cardstock and cut some white pieces. So I'll just grab that. So I'm going to do a basic card using some of these gorgeous flowers and things. I'll just cut a few of these up so I've got some done for our crafting session. Now, if you want measurements, I send out a free PDF tutorial each month and it comes out on a Tuesday morning. Now, if you want measurements of things that I do, 
make sure that you are on my email list and you will find that in the link down below as well because if you join my email list now you must remember it's also an email list that I send out anything that's happening with my Stamping Up business, anything that um, specials that Stampin' Up have, any of the classes that I'm doing. So if you want to be up to date with all of the classes that I do and with anything that I do in my Stamping Up business, then you really, really need to be on that email list. So as I said, um, if you wanted to, whoops, a daisy, nearly did a mistake. If you wanted to join that email list, Get it right, girl. If you wanted to join that email list, um, then that keeps you up to date with everything that's going on. Plus, you get a free weekly tutorial each each week. Now, if you unsubscribe from any of the emails that I send you, you will then miss out on that free weekly tutorial. So I just wanted to make that clear with people that if you unsubscribe from anything that I send out, then you'll unsubscribe from my list because I have one list that I send everything to. All right. So we've got these gorgeous frames. So I thought I might choose this large frame here for a start. And I thought I could maybe cut a frame out. I might do it out of my balmy blue. Okay, so I've got a piece of cardstock here and it looks like it's going to fit that pretty well. Oh, I might need a bit bigger bit. Hang on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it with our gorgeous glitter. Why not? We can do that. I think that will be pretty. All right, so I'm going to grab my cut and boss machine. So I'm going to cut the, the layer out first and build from there. So one of the things when you're when you're trying to work out what you're going to do is you need to work out a colour scheme. Um, start with a colour scheme. And it's like anything. You need to have a pattern of what you're doing. So you need to go from the basic, the, the base layer up when you go to design your cards. <clears throat> and that way then you can work out... Um, the color scheme and and how you're actually going to do it so i'm just going to and i should have put that on an angle but i didn't so you can hear that cracking because i've got a straight line that's making the the pressure wheels of my cut and emboss making them jump and i shouldn't have done that okay so we have this piece and then we also have a frame so can you see that? We've got that gorgeous frame and it's got some embossing on it as well. All right, so we've done that. Um, I might have to delve into, I might have to delve into, whoa, things are falling into my in color cardstock. Do I have some cut here? Hmm, I might do a little bit of that in Starry Sky. Now, seeing as I've got that angle, I'm just going to, sorry, that, actually, if I put it that way, it'll be all right because I won't have a definite straight line, but I will angle it a little bit. So when you've got straight lines and you're going to go through your die cutting machine, if you've got a real definite straight line in line with your rollers, you'll get that clunking and that um, where it wants to jump over that and you don't want that to happen. So you can see here, see how that glides through a lot easier and I've, haven't got it on my plate far enough so I'm just going to before I do anything push that further forward there there okay we'll go again that's better okay so I'm going to cut a little frame uh, sorry a little um piece here Oh, and that cut, see, now this is the first time I've used these. That cuts a gorgeous little frame as well. Okay. All right, so we have that, that, and that. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So now that's using that frame and that frame. And we get these gorgeous frames. 
with these pieces. So I'm going to build up a little bit with this. Okay. So I'm going to use a white card base to start off with. If I can grab it beside me here. Oh, my fingers aren't working today. There. Okay. So I'm just going to fold the card base in half. And use my bone folder to crease that. Okay, and then as you can see, we have this gorgeous frame here and we have this gorgeous frame here. So I think what I want to do is pop a layer in behind that, maybe just a basic white layer. Let me do that. So one of these first ones, just to bring that up a little bit off so we've got a bit of a layer happening in behind like that okay so i'm going to glue this one i'm going to stamp some flowers in here first See where I'm going to glue that and I want to stamp some flowers coming in on the sides here. Now I haven't used this before so I think I might use that. Mount that up on a block. That one. that one which could be on one of those and I like this one okay we'll pop it onto a little block like that okay so i think what i'm going to do is a color combination of highland heather orchid oasis and i'm thinking night of navy okay so we have these three colors here and i'm going to i need a scrap piece of paper I have a scrap piece right here. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful shapes dies from the mini also go with the framed occasions. Yes, with the hex um is it a hexagon shape, Anika's saying? <laughs> you love watching my thought process, Trish. Well, as I said, I haven't really made my decision of what I wanted to do here, but you know. It's how I roll. All right, so I'm going to start with the lightest colour first, which is the Highland Heather. And I want to ink this up and smoosh on here because I haven't used these stamps before. So because they're photopolymer, I like to be able to smoosh so I can get a really good, nice, crisp colour. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink that up and I'm just going to do a corner stamp like that okay so can you see where I'm going from here so I'm going to do that and I'm going to line that up okay so I've got a corner stamp there and I'm going to do probably the same thing up in this top corner up here so I'm going to take that away and do one up in there too so that's out of the Highland Heather. And then I'm going to do in the Orchid Oasis, I'm going to do this longer one. So I'm going to ink that up, smoosh it. 
because I haven't used it before. And I'm going to go like that. And just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing up the top here. So one coming across here. And I messed that one up a little bit, but that's okay. And one there. Okay, now this little one in the Knight of Navy, I'm then going to ink that one up and smoosh it as well. Okay, and I'm going to go like that and maybe a little bit like that. Same up here, there, and maybe a little bit just in there. Okay, and then, of course, when we pop this over, you can see we've got a gorgeous, beautiful corner accent on our piece of designer series paper, uh, sorry, on our piece of white cardstock. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to probably pop that up in there. Oh, all right. So first of all, I want to glue that down. It's pouring rain here. The sun's out and it's pouring rain. <laughs> Can you believe it? So I'm just going to take some of my liquid glue and pop around on that frame like so. And then we'll glue that down. Now I'm just going to pop it that way so that I can get an even border, top and bottom, and on the side. So it's exactly the size of my white piece. So that's handy. And I need, whoops, I need to wiggle it a little bit just to get it exactly right. Okay, look at that. How pretty is that? Just cute as. All right. Now, I want to pop that up on dimensionals because I think that will look really, really cute on dimensionals. But I think what I might do is just use my foam strips and just put a foam strip top and bottom. And I think that will be enough. So I'm just going to grab my foam strip. Oh, and where are my scissors? That's going to be a worry. Bear with me until I find my scissors. I think I have them in my bag. So I'm just going to do a foam strip and pop a foam strip top there. And another one on the bottom bit. Like that. I'm just going to do a couple of little bits just on that scallop piece. There and there. Okay. <laughs> Winifred's saying hi from sunny Queensland, although it's raining here this morning. Yep. We're the same. The sun's out, though. I don't know whether it's the same for you up there, Winifred. The sun's out. But it's raining. Okay. Now I'm going to pop this one over to the side because I don't want to cover up too much of that, um, too much of those corners that I've stamped. So I'm going to pop that there and that there like that. Okay. And then I'm going to pop that onto my base. This is looking so, so cute. All right. 
We'll pop that onto our base. I'm going to pop that up as well. I can find my dimensionals here. Oh, there they are. Now, if you're uh, posting some of the cards, you, you all know that I do lots of 3D dimension on my cards. If you're posting cards and you're worried about paying the extra postage, then my suggestion is wherever I pop them up, don't pop them up on dimensionals, just glue them directly down. Uh, you'll find that you'll get a little bit of a different look, but even though you get that different look, it'll still look quite similar, but we'll go through the post a lot easier. Sun's out and raining there as well, friend. Yeah, bit of a crazy weather time, isn't it? And honestly, I just wish the rain would go away. I think we've definitely had enough rain. There. Got one of these funky dimensional packs once again. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that up on the front. Do I want to go like that? I'm like, oh, I think I like it like that. Look at that. See, you can make your mind up as you go. That looks pretty. All right. Now, um, I wonder can I go and find the hexagon shapes and circles? Bear with me. I'll just go and see if I've got that bundle. So I've just, oh, I have an extra set of dies. Look at that. Beautiful shapes dies. Here we go. All right. So these are the beautiful shapes dies. I've used them quite a lot, but these are fantastic. We've got circle dies. We've got hexagon dies, which are fantastic. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pick, not today, I'm going to pick a winner for my next live video because guess what? I have an extra set of these dies. So I actually want to give away an extra set of these dies. So the way that you're going to go into the draw is to share my video with a friend, type in shared and tell me the your name and the state where you live and I will pick I will draw a winner and announce it on my next live video so make sure you do that if you're watching back on the replay you can do it on the replay as well all right so I think what I'm going to do is we have one of these hexagon shapes so we could stamp one of them so of course because it's um a hollow stamp i like to pop it onto my desk also we could check it out with the dies and make sure that it's going to fit with a die um is it this one okay so this is another way when you've got a die that is a shape like that you can actually place your die like that, place your stamp in your die so it sits in your die. Okay, so it sits in the die. I need it sticking to my fingers, but so it sits in your die. Like so. 
if it wasn't sticking to my fingers, I would be right. Okay, so it fits in your die and then you can pick it up. But normally what I find is, honestly, I just pop it down like that and pick it up. All right, so I'm going to stamp that, I think, in Highland Heather on a white piece of cardstock. Um, yeah, we'll do Highland Heather. And, of course, because this is not been inked before, I'm going to use my scrap piece of paper. And smoosh it. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to stamp this wishing you the best day ever from my stamp set, which is stuck on the back of my paper here now. Okay. Wishing you the best day ever. That one. All right, I might do that in, I'm thinking my the new colour, the um, Orchid Oasis. Okay, so that. So I'm just going to smoosh it because I haven't used it before. Whoa, and I just I just inked up really, really heavily and I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, we're going to do that. Wishing you the best day ever. And then I'm going to take my cute little Island Heather piece and I'm going to pop some flowery pieces coming in on the sides here because we're going to cut this out. So it doesn't matter that we're stamping outside that piece because we're going to line up that hexagon. And I also, with my Knight of Navy, want to bring in that nice dark Knight of Navy look. So we can go like that. And I misstamped that one again, but that's okay. And like that. Okay, so that's going to give us a really, really cute label to pop on the front and clean up these ink pads. Hello and welcome, everyone. Renee says, sunshine and no rain. Lucky you. All right. Now I'm going to line this up and hopefully I'm going to cut this exactly right so let's line that up in the die cutting machine fingers crossed i line it up where it should be i think that's about right and pop my plate on and run it through hold your breath everyone let's hope we've got this right and it doesn't move. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Look at that. How cute. All right. And while I've got the die cutting machine out, I'm actually going to use a bigger hexagon than that again, which is this one. Yep. And I'm going to do that in... I wonder will I get it out of that one? Probably not. Oh, I could, maybe. Let's try that. <laughs> Waste not, want not. <laughs> It'll be close enough anyway. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. All right, let's move that out of the way. So we now have a really cute background that we can pop in behind this one. We can do it like that and then pop it down in the corner here. 
or look at what that would look like if we rotated it. Would it look crazy if we rotated it? Look at that. What about if we did that? Look at that. Can you see how that looks? So instead of having it even and looking the same, I've just rotated it. So I just turned it once and you get a little bit of a different background. Here I go struggling with these again. So I'm just going to pop that up there. Okay. So as I said, just rotating it and you just line up all the points like so. And look at that. You like it, Patricia? <laughs> Um, Anika says that she's very excited about the magnetic plates in the new catalog, but I don't know when they'll be available. Okay. So we have had word Anika that they will be available. Hopefully when the catalog goes live to customers. So I've been told. Okay. So I'm going to pop that up as well. I have been told that. So, um, the large one, not the small one, the small one for the mini, it's not going to be available, but they are hoping that it is available when the catalog goes live to customers. So the 3rd of May, that will be one of the things that will be in my order for sure. Okay. I'm actually just going to pop that right in the middle, just like that. And of course with these decorative dots. I've got to be on my second lot of dots now. I've used one full pack already. <laughs> That's why I need the 3rd of May to come so I can order some more of these things because I'm having so much fun using them. So of course here I'm just going to add some of these. So these are what are called the 2022-2024 matte decorative dots. Now these are the um, the orchid oasis so i'm just going to pop um one just there a smaller one up there and another smaller one just here what do you think how cute is it <laughs> off to work laurie no worries enjoy your day okay so now i'm going to do another one using this gorgeous set so i'm going to pop those back away so i don't lose them everywhere okay so now i just want to do a simple one with some stamping and some different colors as well so let's bring in a white piece of cardstock which this is the smaller one so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to grab my scrap piece of paper okay and I'm going to do a color scheme of let's do what do I want to do Let's do some Bermuda Bay. Bermuda Bay. Basic grey. And evening evergreen, I think. Is that a crazy combination? <laughs> Lord knows what I'm going to do here, but okay. I'm going to clean off some of these. Could help if I sprayed my stamp and scrub. Okay, clean those off. That one. That one. one this one okay and maybe that one 
Okay, so I want to do um, a bit of an idea here. I might even bring in some Coastal Cabana, but I want to tear a little piece of paper. Where was my scrap paper that I had? How can I lose that so easily? Totally lost it, but that's okay. I'll grab a piece. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to cut a piece of cards, uh, a piece of, this is just like copy paper. It's, um, yeah, just, just normal paper, copy paper that you do photocopying. And I'm going to cut it six by six. I don't really need six by six, but I'm going to cut it at six by six. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tear this bit of paper to create a bit of a, and you want to tear it that it's got a little bit of a crazy look to it, okay? So we've got it torn here and torn here. So that's actually what I want to do. And I want to pop those just there like that because I'm going to create, actually, yeah, I am going to do it that way. I want to create it a bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of my blending brushes and I'm going to grab, I think I want to do Coastal Cabana actually for the blending just for it to be a little bit whiter. And I'm going to, with my blending brush, grab some ink on there and I'm going to blend some colour here. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this top piece first and I'm just going to keep blending to get a bit of colour happening. Okay, then I'm going to line up my bottom piece. Now, you could probably stick this down with a bit of um, a bit of painter's tape, um, a bit of washi tape. I actually want this to be quite, I don't want it to be smooth. I want it to be a bit chunky looking and not exact. Okay. So we've got that and that. Now, most people, you would actually, as I said, tape it down and get it to stay there. I normally just use my my hand and hold it and just blend okay so I'm going to go back up to this top part again and blend a little bit more with my coastal cabana just to get that edge a little bit more definite and I'm going to do the same thing down the bottom here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same blending brush and I'm going to come through with Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker colour. So I'm going to ink up my Bermuda Bay, hold that again in place where it needs to be. And if it moves, you can line it up again. It's not hard to find it to line it up again. And I'm just going to go through that edge again with the Bermuda Bay. And same thing down here. Ink it up, tap off some of the excess and through that edge again with the Bermuda Bay. Okay, now that's going to give us a look like this. And as you can see, I've moved that. So let's move that down a little bit further and we can do that again because I moved that a little bit where it shouldn't have been. But that's okay. Because the whole idea of this is that it doesn't have to be exact and neat. Sometimes with things like this, the rougher the better. Okay, so we have that. So it looks a little bit like a stream running along. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these stamps. So I'm going to pop my Coastal Cabana away. I'm going to take these stamps and I'm going to stamp a cute um, little flower arrangement happening 
in the middle of this card. So I've got Evening Evergreen, I've got Basic Grey, and I've got Bermuda Bay. Okay. So I'm going to do Bermuda Bay with that larger piece. I'm going to line that up again, and I'm just going to randomly stamp in Bermuda Bay with that leafy image. Okay. So we have that done. Then I'm going to take the basic grey and I've got some other images here so we might try them. We've got that but it's, I might do this one. Actually no, I'm going to do that and that. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, these, these are leaves and they've got like a lined image and then they've got a solid image. So I'm going to do it with the lined image and then I'm going to stamp off with the solid image to colour it. Okay. So I'm going to do that in basic grey. So I'm going to ink up the lined image. I'm going to line those up again. Pop that there. So you can see here we've got a leaf happening. Then I'm going to ink up the basic grey again, but I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to line those up with that basic grey. Okay, so we've got like a lined image but then coloured in with the basic grey. So we're going to do that again. So here we're going to go like that. I'm going to ink up with our basic grey. Stamp off and then stamp on. Okay, so it gives us that coloured look. All right, now with this cute little one, we're going to take the evening evergreen and we're going to ink that one up. And I'm just going to pop some of these cute little flowers in around. I oh, will leafy bits. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the top. I'm going to come back down through the top with some of these images. So I'm going to ink up the Bermuda Bay, holding that top one where it is. One there, another one, oh, another one just over there, like that. Same thing with the grey again, so the basic grey. I'm going to ink that lined one up and pop it that way. Ink up the solid one, stamp off. And then line them up. One there. Okay. And then I think with my cute little evening evergreen one, we'll pop a few of those around. Okay, and we have a look like that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'll take all of this out of the way and we will grab a base for this, which I have a Bermuda Bay base. I have a basic white card base. Just let me get these out of the way. Masking is great, isn't it, Debbie? I I agree. Um, it can it can give you such. It looks like a, a torn paper look, but you actually haven't torn the paper. So it's a really really quick easy way of getting that type of look without actually even tearing the paper. 
I suppose it's called a faux, faux um, torn paper look. Okay, so we've got that there like that. All right, now I'm thinking I like this that it says thankful we are friends. So I think I might, do I want to do it that way? Or do I want to do it that way? Oh, I could do it that way. I'm going to do that one in. I'm going to do that one in basic grey, I think. Now I need my scrap piece of paper because I need to smoosh it because I haven't used it yet. So ink that up, smoosh it because we haven't used it. I think my basic grey really needs to be re-inked, I think. But anyway, ink it up and we're going to stamp that. Thankful we are friends. I really like that font. It's quite good. All right. And I'm just going to pop that onto a white card base. And use my bone folder to crease it. Okay. And I think I'm going to pop that up on the front. You like it, Susan? Susan, did you get your catalogue that I sent you? I think it said on my post app that it arrived, I think, Friday. You've forgotten about the torn paper technique. Thanks for bringing it back. No problem whatsoever, Nicole. And honestly, I thought of it right here and now when I just started creating this card. Okay, so take the backings off. And we're just going to pop that on the front there. Now, to bring a bit of that to the inside of the card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an insert and we're going to do a similar thing to the inside of the card to make it look like it's going to blend with this. So I'm going to grab my bits of paper and I'm just going to do just down one side so I'm going to grab the blending brush again open up my ink pad so we've got coastal cabana and our Bermuda Bay so I'm just going to down the side of this do this again A little bit of the Bermuda Bay to make that edge a little bit more obvious. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamps again and we're just going to create a cute little pattern. like that. Uh, the basic grey leaves. There. And another basic nearly made a mistake. There. And the solid parts. 
stamped off. I'll do that again. I didn't stamp that off very well. Okay, let's line those up on there and the other one just on there. And of course, our evening evergreen little one. Gina, you've never tried it? Well, my suggestion is you can try it. You can do many different types of things with this paper masking. Um, you can do this and you can also do it that you, um, if you've got a stamp set that has quite a lot of elements in it, like quite a lot of different things. One of the ones that I actually did the other technique was um, the Sailing Home set. And there you have a cute little element for the inside of your card as well. Um, and you can actually do it instead of with the torn edges, you can do it with straight edges. Um, and there is a name for it. I, it escapes me. But you can do straight edges and you can do different triangle parts like that and like that and it all comes together. And you do the blending brushes, you do the stamping, and it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. So I should do that one day for you as well. <laughs> all right. So we've got that and I'll pop that inside my card. Okay, so you can see there you've brought some of the front to the inside of the card. So, and you could even do that on your envelope as well. Um, and I was just wondering whether I had, I don't think I do. I might just use these. I know they're probably um, not available now. They've probably retired. Uh, but I'm going to use these gorgeous holiday rhinestones and I think I'm just going to use the dark green ones and pop a couple around that, that, and that. But you can see just a, a fine embellishment, just how it just finishes off that card. So no ribbon. Can you believe two cards with no ribbon this morning? That's absolutely unbelievable for myself <laughs> because normally I do have ribbon on everything. But there you go. Two quick cards using that gorgeous stamp set, which is called framed occasions so um, this stamp set is brand new in our brand new catalog and our catalog goes live I'll just pop the name of the stamp set down below there so framed occasions bundle and it goes live we did actually use uh, the uh, beautiful shapes dies with it as well to create that gorgeous sentiment layer there uh, but that's going live in our brand new catalog so both wow cards friend really you think so? Um, now, all I would have done is probably for the insert of that one is just maybe stamped an insert and done the corner two pieces um, for the insert of the card, which I will probably do after I jump off from this video. No ribbon. I know. Am I feeling okay? Am I feeling okay? I probably will end up popping a bow in here on this one. I feel like this one doesn't really need ribbon. What do you think? I mean, I think it's um, pretty striking on its own. And I think the simplicity of that card makes the, the huge difference as well. Um, so sometimes it's it's not a bad thing to not over embellish when it comes to your cards. So um, I know you probably all think, is she okay? Um, but yeah, no ribbon this morning. So you just never know 
um, what you can come up with. So, um, so thank you very much. And I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. And I may jump on again tomorrow morning. I will see how I go. Um, if not, um, I will be definitely back through the week. So make sure if you're watching the replay back later on, make sure you say where you're watching from, say hello, where you're watching from, share the video for me to be in the running for, as I said, some stylish shape dies so i'm going to give those away to one lucky person that lives in australia so i will actually draw that the next video that i jump on live okay so thank you everyone and have a great weekend and i'll see you all again soon bye for now